Hello guys, welcome back to another PriceyP Roblox Studio tutorial. This tutorial is going to be for our new beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to delete stuff in Roblox. We're going to learn how to delete stuff inside Roblox Studio. And then we're going to learn how to use scripts to delete stuff inside our games. To delete stuff inside Roblox Studio is very simple. You just got to select the object that you want to delete and press delete. You can also go directly to the Explorer here and select the object inside the Explorer. For example, I'm going to select the wedge and I'm going to press delete. You can also delete an object by selecting the object, right click and select delete. Now next, how do you delete stuff using scripts? Let's go to our ball here. We're going to add a script and take a look. One way is to use the destroy method to delete a part. So we're going to first declare our part. We're going to say local part equals to script dot parent. And then we're going to give it a task weight of eight seconds. To delete our part, we're going to say part colon destroy. We're using the destroy method to remove the part from our game. It's going to take eight seconds and then the part is going to disappear from the game. It's going to be deleted from the game. Next, let's take a look at another way of deleting an object from the game. So we're going to go here. We're going to copy the script and we're going to paste it into the cylinder. Now I'm going to open the script inside the cylinder. Let me close this one first. I'm going to open the script inside the cylinder. Another way to delete objects inside your game is to use the debris service. So we're going to first declare our debris service up here. We're going to say local debris equals to game colon get service debris service or just debris. All right. And here, instead of using the destroy method, we're going to say debris which is our variable, which is the debris service that we have declared up here. And we're going to use the add item method of the debris service. So we're going to say colon add item. Our add item method has two parameters. The first one is required and it is the part that you want to delete. So in this case, the part is going to be part. All right, so part here is basically the script.parent, which is going to be the cylinder. So that's the part that's going to be deleted. The second parameter is not required. If you don't specify the second parameter, the default is 10 seconds. But here we want to delete this part at the same time as the ball. So we're going to put in 8. So it's going to be deleted in 8 seconds. And we do not need to wait here. We can remove this. The beauty about using the debris service is this this thing here is going to be processed on a different thread. So it's not going to hold up the script here in case you have more things here. It's not going to wait on this line for eight seconds before it move on to the next line. It's going to keep on processing whatever that comes after this line. Basically, the ball and the cylinder will be destroyed in eight seconds after we start the game. Let's play and take a look. There is my ball, there is my cylinder, and let's see, they are gone at the same time. That's how we delete stuff inside Roblox, and we will see you in our next tutorial.